Thousands of families in the capital region rely on the generosity of others to make Christmas a little brighter, but already a holiday Scrooge is hitting some of the most vulnerable people in our community. The Christmas Bureau used to connect struggling families with agencies that hand out holiday hampers of food and gifts. But the Christmas Bureau closed up shop almost without warning, leaving people in need scrambling for help. Wanna go play in the park? Yeah. Okay. Amber Sirota is a mother of two, trying to make ends meet. I mean, we have a new baby, so it's an extra mouth to feed, and it's a lot harder. I mean, the prices have gone up and everything. As Christmas approaches, she and her husband hope to get a helping hand with a hamper of food and toys for their kids. I have relied on the hampers before, yes. And I have a few friends that require the hamper, too, to get through the, for Christmas. But applying for a hamper in Greater Victoria isn't as easy as it was last year because the Christmas Bureau has closed up shop. The Christmas Bureau was the coordinating house. It took in all the names of people needing help, and then it gave them back out to the agencies, individuals, offices, schools that were providing the help. Now people need to go to the agencies that would have provided the help in the past. Maureen Quested sat on the Christmas Bureau board representing CFAC Santa's Anonymous. She says many volunteer coordinators have retired, leaving gaps in leadership and no one to contact past clients of the change. Christmas is so stressful and if you're low income it just doubles it or even triples it. Um, you know, you don't hear anything, you don't know says Megan Duncan, who relied on the Christmas Bureau until about five years ago. She worries that by the time her friends who need assistance apply, it will be too late. And not even a letter saying these are the organizations that are helping and you've got to get on the list fast. I mean, these things do fill up really quick. But Quested says don't panic. The agencies haven't given up working together. There is plenty of area for help. This building may be empty right now, but in just a couple of weeks, it will be busy with Santa's helpers as they collect donations for families in need. The warehouse in Central Saanich will be home to CFAX Santa's Anonymous. Like many agencies, Santa's Anonymous is accepting applications until the end of the month, and donation drives will ramp up in the coming weeks. We're all working together. There's no need for anyone to go without help. In the meantime, the Sirota family will do what many other families do leading up to the holidays. Pinching pennies, trying to make it work. In Esquimalt, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.